What's going on everybody? Scott back here with another improvised episode of Up For The Journey. So as you saw our last video, we asked you all how to help remedy our little mouse situation with all the holes. Thank you for all the responses on that. Now, since that mouse problem just popped up randomly, we decided Man, we really wish another problem would just pop up so we can make another video. So Renee decided to press the self-destruct button on the microwave, which happens to be this button here. Um, so Renee was um, cooking something down here. What were you cooking? Do you even remember? Oh, your sausages for your sandwich. And then, uh, you know, we turned on the fan and then she turned on the exhaust fan here and as while well, I was sitting over there I saw a blue light spark something happen over here and the whole thing went out so of course I checked the fuses I checked the breakers everything was a hundred percent I even checked the plug that's back here and it was good so the microwave went kaput and um, we bought a new microwave, so hang tight. We're going to attempt not to really screw this up and make more problems for us. So Renee's over here eating her bell peppers. She's fueling up. I just had some yogurt, so we'll see how this goes. So, all right. Never start an RV project hungry, especially working together. <laughs> yeah, don't ever do that. Or don't start your long drive trips hungry either without eating breakfast. Without yeah. eating breakfast. Um, I may not have eaten breakfast the other day. So anyways, we'll talk about that later. Stay tuned. We're going to attempt to remove this. I don't know the first step to do it. We found one video of a couple that looked like they had the same RV and I saw them unscrewing from the inside, but we don't have those screws. I don't know what are what manufacturer of microwave they had. So I'm just going to start removing plastic. And my first thing is to remove this baffle thingy that where the extra or the vent comes out. So Let's see if I can figure something out here. Yep. yep. So the good thing is we're not worried about breaking it. Okay, so that removed. So I do see a screw here and a screw here, but I'm not sure. So basically it needs to lift up and come out but there's a trim molding here that i can't lift up on but is there screws in there yes there is screws one screw two three four five screws awesome okay so now i know what to remove i'll go grab the drill i'm just gonna go across and hit these and then i'm gonna have renee um hold it so it doesn't fall while i unscrew it um, so first things when you do this, make sure it's obviously unplugged from the socket. Um, if you want to go an extra step, you can turn the breaker off, but if it's not plugged in, then you should be fine. Second thing is, if you have an oven like we do, like with the glass on here, put a blanket, double, triple up a blanket, because if you end up losing it and you go down, you don't want to turn this into hey, we got to replace the microwave and then we got to replace the uh, cat, the oven. So let's see, let's start unscrewing some screws here. Wow. Those are some seriously long screws. I don't know if you can see that. But instead of using the drill, I've used a hand screwdriver and started loosening up so they are backing out. So what I'm gonna do is hold the microwave and Renee's gonna back those out. So 
most likely we're probably not going to get this angle properly because of the way everything is but we're going to do our best to get this angle for you Feel it start to budge, you tell me immediately. Okay. See how I'm doing this? Move your hands. Push your hands where mine is. Move your left hand over here by mine. Push to the wall. Okay, your other hand right over here. Push to the wall. I need to have that here to start to You do not. So those screws, one, two, three, four, etc., are the ones that had it. And then of course it was sitting on this uh, frame over here. So hopefully our new microwave will sit right on that frame. That'd be too easy. Yeah, that would be that too would be, easy. That would just be too easy. That would be way too easy. So let's. Uh, Let's see how this is gonna work. So it's kind of cracks me up is the venting sucks everything from down here, comes up and goes out. So it goes up into the fantastic. But they have this cut out like it was supposed to vent out. So who knows? When normally when you have an undermount microwave, you have a cabinet up top that you can get inside and drill down and put a bolt through this or this and it sucks it up grand design which furion decided not to make one for these certain issues or whatever grand design decided to just puncture holes wherever they pleased with screws to put them to screw upwards so now with our nice new one, you can't screw up. I mean, I can probably get one going up this way, having one, well, on, two. I, um, I may be able to get two to this one here if I remove this, but we're trying to figure that out right now because this one obviously very well built and we're gonna have some issues here. We'll get back to you here in a second. All right, we're gonna do a test fit here and see what happens. Okay, so this one here has one, two, three, four little hooks. This down here only needs two. That one will go in, but that one doesn't match up. Or actually it would match up, but those two are in the way. So I'm thinking if I can bend these down, we'll have it. So what I've done is these two flaps here, they were up like this. I flattened them down and we're going to see if we can continue to use this, uh, that bracket. All right. So we're going to take two, put this up there. 
Let me get it up there and then you can hold it. You gotta look underneath. Oh, it's on. <laughs> it's on. Got some trust sticking your head under there. Oh. With your wife holding it. All right, so we're on, but now how do we screw it on? I can put two screws in there right now. That's what we're gonna have to do. Watch your head. If you just push up here, it'll be so much easier. Okay, so push right there. You don't have to lift up, you just have to push that way. Let's see how this goes. Just a cord through the cord. Oh, yeah, totally. Go on a hook. Ooh, baby. So you just drill. It's going to be hard to get with the light, not have blind you guys. So we drilled there, drilled there. So this whole flashing thing, this whole board is solid. So if you drill into it, you're fine. So I may squeeze another one in here if I can. in. I guess I can do the same thing there. I think we're supposed to take all this plastic off. There we are. There's nothing in the back, right? Yep. Oh no, no, no. Will we start getting this in there currently? Four out of five ain't bad. We have one screw left. I just may go through the middle on this one. Yeah, I think I will. Boom. Five screws in. Grab that front flashing over there. Let's see how this fits. All right, five screws in. Not necessarily the proper way, but it wasn't properly put on. Let's just hope this goes back on. Okay, I forgot to press record on what we just did, but let me recap. So as you can see, it's up, but this was just like a flashing piece. There's actually little vent holes. You can see my hand goes inside of it. So it'll vent up and out. Um, but we had to do like they did with the Furion, literally just put the screws through the top and go that way and go up into the um, to this mounted panel that they have up here. So this is a little loose just because I can't get to the screw that goes here. Um, I may be able to finger tighten it in just a little bit, but there wasn't one here. So it's pretty good. Let's give it the moment of truth here. Ugh. Ugh. We have dots. Oh, that was one second. All right, so it cooked for one second, that's good. The real deal here is, even though you have an under cabinet microwave and you don't have a cabinet above your microwave, it's not gonna go in fall for the directions because you're supposed to have a bolt. So let's say this was your under mount. You put here, 
You open here, you put a bolt down and you screw it in and it sucks the microwave up. Yeah, all in all, it looks pretty good. I mean, let's see if we stand back. It looks good. To remove the Furion microwave, you have to remove the front flashing here. And then there's four or five screws that are inside and up. And that is the only thing holding it up besides the uh, bracket on the wall. So as you can see, these little holes here are for lag bolts that go down and inside. We basically did the same thing. We didn't get to go as far back. I mean, we're only right here with screws. These are a little further back. But uh, I think we should be okay. Trip. We'll find out on our first trip. So down in the description below, I'm going to put the make and model. It's an LG, but I'm going to put the model number and everything. We got it from Lowe's mm -hmm. and we're going to put that down there. So this is a thousand watt microwave and it's 1.8 cubic foot. This Furion said it was 1500 watt microwave and 1.5. So it's a little bigger, not sure in which way. I think it's a little wider, but um, other than that. It feels the same size. Yeah, it feels it the same. It doesn't feel bigger, even though that's smaller. Yeah. Maybe because of the convection makes a difference. Yeah, probably because of the convection. So inside space is probably a lot bigger because it doesn't have the convection and the convection part of the Furion is actually on the walls. So the other good thing is the Furion is 70 pounds, something like that, something like that 70 pounds. This one was only 42. Somewhere around there. Somewhere around the 40-ish pounds. So huge difference. Um, and in this 315 RLTS, that's the driver's side slide. And it is heavy already, obviously, because it has the microwave. It has the oven. It has the refrigerator. It has the TV and the fireplace, where, of course, the other side just has, you know, furniture. Nothing really heavy. So it is nice to take uh, 20, 30 pounds off of there or 20 pounds at least. I guess that's it guys. I know it's quick, it's easy. There's not a lot of detail. As you can see, they just winged it and threw some screws in. Hopefully you got something out of this video because it was hard for us to find videos about this in this specific RV. If you like the video, please give a thumbs up. And if you know anybody or if you belong to any other forums, please feel free to share this video in that forum. If you have any questions, comments, or you saw us do something wrong that we can prevent, please leave a comment down below and we'll definitely address it and fix it. So stay tuned. We have another couple cool videos coming up that are in the works now that we're in one spot for about a week. Don't forget to check us out on Instagram at Up For The Journey. Other than that, I think that was it. I think that's today's project. Now we gotta make dinner. Now we gotta make dinner. So uh, we'll see everybody on the road. Have a good one.